good evening all so welcome to this session i hope everyone doing fine uh, this webinar organizing by gandhi institute for education and technology bhaniya tangi odisha so organized department of mechanical engineering organizing this webinar on matlab interfacing in this webinar and special thanks to all the coordinators for accepting our invitation and giving this opportunity to us so myself uh, srinivas luwala i am working as a power electronics engineer in pantech solutions i completed my mtech and about pantech solutions uh, pantech solutions was established in 2004 Uh, we have seven branches more than 100 employees uh, more than 1200 workshops and till we reach from the last 16 years 850000 students approximately and hands on training workshops internships and in plant trainings short term courses value added courses and academic project training by pantech pro electrical mechanical and electrical domain people uh, we are conducting the webinars on the uh, internet of developing and for we in power electronics uh, data analytics cloud computing and mobile computing so in all these domains we people are conducting the webinars uh, workshops faculty development programs so today our content is uh, what is artificial intelligence in this artificial intelligence Uh, we majorly uh, in the matlab we people will prefer artificial neural network so one of the most fascinating and advanced thing is artificial neural network and why we people are using the neural networks in the matlab and basics of the neural networks and features of extraction using the neural networks how to use these neural networks in the matlab what are the key features and working with the neural network toolbox in the matlab and types of the neural network architecture what are the applications and advantages we people discuss in this one hour session so if you are observing today's life everyone we people are utilizing the smart devices smart phones right so by using the smart devices we can control all the devices at your domestic application all the loads you can easily control right so through the wireless communication everything so each uh, whether if you are observing the google we have google assistant and if you are observing uh, if you are taking uh, apple uh, so separately we have alexa and siri and amazon so different cartoons and different uh, google uh, like everyone have separate one assistant is there like that so artificial it is resembles the human human only you you need to implement how you people are thinking so like how human is thinking human body is thinking like that artificial intelligence whether you are implementing a product whether you are implementing a robotic machine so everything it will be act like so how when a problem we people are facing how we people are taking the decisions in our daily life so when you are driving a car how you people are monitoring the vehicle and whether you are any obstacles comes in your way you are putting brakes right you are applying the brakes you are stopping the vehicle like that by using the artificial intelligence when you made a product when you make a robotic machine these artificial intelligence machines automatically it will have the ability to take the decisions so consider coming few years or coming decades we can see self driving cars so by using the artificial intelligence driven systems like these integrate artificial intelligence such as machine learning deep learning and these algorithms these machine learning deep learning we can implement where the problems we are facing that means complex problems so complex environment so in the automation in the automation also we can utilize these artificial intelligence algorithms so here so ai as per the research report mckinsey report so ai is estimated 13 trillion dollar market 
all over the globe by 2030 2030 so everyone the researchers and the mckinsey report they are expecting 13 trillion dollar market artificial intelligence will be created so not only only uh, robotic machines so this will artificial intelligence we can utilize in all the industrial applications so industrial automation predictive maintenance and patient monitoring in medical application electricity use forecasting in the electric electricity generation transmission distribution side also we can utilize this one and automated driving vehicles also we can use these type of artificial intelligence algorithm so if we need to monitor the patients so now you know we are in the critical situation we are in the pandemic situation right so how many cases in august month uh, we are getting so number of cases every day increasing corona cases covid cases every day it is increasing day by day right so then how many cases we can expect coming uh, september month in odisha itself so otherwise in our locality how many cases we can expect by using the artificial intelligence algorithms we can predict the machine we can predict the data approximately we can tell the solution also so whether it is a weather monitoring if any cyclone will come how the people are telling so coming day in in between this time uh, the uh, cyclone will cross the uh, uh, from the uh, sea right sea land it, they will tell right so the weather weather monitoring people they will give some suggestion to the governments and they will alert the people right so like that these all things will happen by using the artificial intelligence algorithm suppose when you are sitting in your vehicle suppose if you see here a basic example if you are observing the key factor for success in the modeling artificial intelligence systems are suppose to start with a complete set of algorithms and pre-built model for machine learning deep learning and reinforcement learning and other artificial intelligence techniques so we need to use some apps some apps so productive design and analysis purpose we need to use suppose when you people are stuck in a traffic jam so how you people will maintain the distance for front vehicle and the back vehicle so to manage these things so by using the gp uh, G, uh, G, gps system so you can easily track how much in automotive uh, planning and controls for break how to uh, it will predict by using this artificial intelligence algorithm it will predict the machine failure also in some cases when you people are met a accident so then you don't observe the inside of the machine parts so at that time this artificial intelligence algorithms will give the signal to you and it will alert to you how much long life it will come the machine it will come how you people need to apply the brake system braking system whether it is an absolute braking system or anti-lock braking system how you people need to control your vehicle so in which way you need to go then you people need to avoid the accident danger lurking in your surroundings areas so that's the reason Elon Musk everyone will know Elon Musk so he created uh, a Tesla uh, new ecosystem in the United States of America in the United States of America by using these artificial intelligence algorithms only recently the people they are implemented AI uh, uh, artificial neural network algorithms in uh, automotive vehicles also so coming 2021 in february they are ready to launch their electric vehicles in new delhi uh, new delhi they are ready to plan of the carbon dioxide emissions to protect the environmentals they are trying to promote the e-vehicles also so in these e-vehicles we can easily implement the artificial intelligence algorithm so in this artificial intelligence algorithm how you need to utilize these artificial intelligence algorithm means the basic thing is neural network so uh, one of the uh, most uh, powerful technique is in the artificial intelligence technique uh, our neural network so an artificial neural network is an information processing paradigm that is inspired by the biological nervous system of a human body that means in our human body if you are observing in our human body we have number of neurons we are interconnected right 
so if you people are touch on any part of your body you have the some sense you have some sense right so when you are touch on your body easily immediately you will get some sense right if you people are fall down then you people will get some sense whether you are getting the pain or whether you are getting any neural network algorithms in a machine or in a ac or in domestic application or in your electricity bills also then you can easily monitor all the data how to recognize the character recognition so we need to train some data we need to give the input data according to that input data it will algorithm it will take the decision according to our in these neural networks have the ability to derive uh, derive the complex problems and imprecise data also imprecise data so these are the ex extract patterns to detect trends that are too complex suppose those problems those complex problems which are not possible in human so we are we will try our best in that case they have the ability also that means they have the nature automatically they have the nature to learn themselves to learn themselves and real time operation so whether it is a covid also you can predict the data and whether whether it is a weather monitoring or in medical application to predict the uh, heart operations or medical equipment patient monitoring also in the critical situations if the, suppose the patient size is in situation is in very critical so minute to minute how to monitor means by using this artificial intelligence algorithm also so the neural networks if you are observing a method of computing based on the interaction of the multiple connected processing elements so it is a power experience in order to improve their performance they have the ability to deal with the incomplete information also they have these neural networks have the ability to deal with the incomplete information to give you a uh, exact or approximate solutions also so the basics of the neural network initially this biological approach of the artificial neural network or artificial intelligence initially the researchers are uh, researchers were developed in 1943 the first neural network they are implemented so comes initially so several types they are trying to the researchers every year if you are observing the technology going rapidly right so if you are observing the past uh, 300 years now in the 20 years so from the last 20 years what we are observing so it will be tremendously it is changing the world is tremendously changing right when internet is introduced automatically the world is uh, quite changed right so what we are observing in the past 300 days it is totally different nowadays so we can can't we people can't expect how the world will be coming two decades how the world in the coming two decades so now in this situation also in the this is a very critical situation we are facing uh, we are facing right so in this situation also we are gathering through the uh, youtube platform and we are discussing about the artificial intelligence so the technology is it is improved right so what we are when we are observing in our childhood in the 90s now you can observe so these are the things happen and if you are observing the neural network so these neural networks biological neural networks and the, what is artificial means artificial it is a man-made and intelligence means human thinking power human thinking power so in this neural network so this artificial net neural network initially they developed in 1956 initially they developed uh, from there onwards uh, it is day by day it is changing every year uh, these algorithms are changing so the conventional computers use an algorithm approach but neural networks works similar to the human brain and lens by the examplers so the conventional computers and the neural networks the the difference you can observe here and the, these neural networks whatever we are proposing these neural network they will work uh, as our human brain only human brain also so inspiration inspiration where we are taking so from the brain only so a neuron many inputs and the one output unit so this output can be excited or not excited also so you can see here these uh, neurons and the structure in this image these incoming signals from the other neurons determine if the neuron shall excite or output subject of the attenuation in the synopsis 
which are junction parts of the neuronals. So you can observe here. So these whatever the neural networks, artificial neural networks, these are inspired by the biological nervous system in the human body. So number of input input functions we people need to give, then we people will get the one output only. One output we people will get here. So the simple neuron you can see here, the number of inputs. So from the x1, x2 to infinity, xn we need to give the input neurons to a to the data. This is a uh, data which we are giving to here, then it will train the data. So it will calculate the summation of the inputs and it will compare with the threshold uh, threshold values and then it will give the sum output. So whether it is a summation or multiplication or whatever it may be division. So these uh, inputs, whatever the, it will collect the data. Initially, these neural networks or neurons will collect the data according to that data it will be trained with the hidden layers with the hidden layers it will be trained and then here you can observe here the feature extraction of the uh, using neural uh, networks so what we are observing here we are the output layer have one perception that means that may when you people are designed like this neural network so when you people are giving some input data then when you are trained like this means then the machine if you apply this algorithm in a machine or in a product or in any robotic machine also then they it have the ability robust nature and rugged nature and it will give the efficiency high efficiency and it have the ability to take the decisions own it have the and it have the nature to adapt or self learning also it have the uh, some capability so then it will give according to the situation it will take the decision and it will give the output uh, so as per our requirement also if you are observing here the neural network tell toolbox in the matlab mainly so the neural networks we need to create the data so if you are observing here we need to create the data so in matlab all over the globe also if you are observing more than 6500 universe not only mechanical engineers computer science engineers uh, electrical engineers and electrical engineers and computer science communication engineers and embedded system engineers aircraft defense and automotive vehicles in all these domains we can use the matlab matlab it is like a ocean uh, so here in this uh, in this matlab uh, we have number of toolboxes more than 100 toolboxes are there so in this one of the toolboxes neural network toolbox in the matlab so the purpose of neural network toolbox is to create and to train the data and to simulate the neural networks so it provides the tool for designing implementing and visualizing and simulating the neural network so these neural networks are used for the application where formal analysis, formal analysis which are too difficult, too difficult or which are impossible. So when we are when we are trying to solve a problem, it will be very difficult, which is impossible also in this neural network toolbox. By using this neural network toolbox or neural network uh, algorithms. So, so these algorithms we can solve those problems and we can get the solution exactly we can get the solution exactly here in this neural network toolbox supports the feed forward neural networks radial basis networks dynamic networks self organizing maps and the other proven network paradigms also we have different type of neural networks uh, so in that one feed forward radial dynamic self organizing type of neural networks also the key features we are observing for a neural network or whatever it may be to design trained and the simulation so what we need to observe pattern recognition so and pattern recognition we need to set the pattern according to the brand clustering and data fitting tools also we have in the matlab so these are all the pattern recognition clustering data fitting tools uh, layer recurrent and observing the two routines for improving the generalization to prevent for fitting simulink blocks for building them to evaluate the neural network to evaluate the neural network and advanced blocks for the control system 
application. So in the control design system application also, these artificial neural networks, it will be helpful. But you need to analyze the data. Initially, you need to analyze the data. Then, so what are the steps you need to follow? You can look at here. So what are the steps you people need to follow when you are working on the neural network toolbox or artificial neural network toolbox in the MATLAB? So first, what you need to take? The first step is we need to collect the data. We need to collect the data. Then we need to create the network. To create the network, to configuration the network and initialization the weights and the biases. Then we need to train the network also after training the network we need to validate the network so then then only we need to utilize that artificial neural network in our required project in our required research area or required implementation also so whatever it may be so these are the steps you people need to follow here we need to follow here so working with the neural network toolbox it is a counterpart in the biological network uh, network system so the behavior of if you are observing uh, this neural network when you are trained to find the solutions or to recognize the patterns or to classify you need to classify the data and forecast the future event so you need to predict the future things so what will happen what is the twitter trending analysis so suppose by using this artificial intelligence what is the trending uh, topic today in the uh, whole India, you can observe all these things. So, what is the trending topic? Which is the best movie in this week? Also, you can all the things you can monitor. But what you people need to do? First, you need to collect the data. According to that data, you need to train the system. Then you will get the output here. So, here the behavior of the neural network is defined by the way its individual computing elements and are connected by the strength of those connections and the weight also so this neural network toolbox it will give the command line functions and graphical tools for creating training and simulating the neural network cells so when you people are trying to simulate or trying to train the neural network it will be appear here so you can see here the graphical tools makes it very easy to develop neural networks for tasks such as data fitting including time series data and the pattern uh, recognition clustering so to create uh, your own networks or you, you need to create your own tools so you can uh, all these things by using this artificial neural network toolbox you can implement here so when you are trained the neural network uh, it will show the fitting tool the fitting neural network fitting tool it will show here then you need to go with the next step so when you are uh, visual so you need to validate all the data the performance you need to add it means graphically you can easily analyze in the variety of supervised and particularly wells so one is supervised neural network another one is unsupervised neural network so by using these supervised neural networks in the supervised neural networks we can utilize to response the, uh, we need some desired output at that point you can go with the supervised neural network you can go with the supervised neural network so it will give the response as you people are giving the sample input data and it will making them particularly so these super the supervised neural network it will be suitable for control systems and dynamic of a particular system you need to analyze the dynamically or you need to analyze the system stable condition these neural networks it will give a good uh, solution and here what are the types of supervised network and again in this one also we have several types of uh, supervised networks so those are feed forward neural networks radial basis networks and dynamic neural networks and learning vector quantization type of four type of neural networks are there so in these four type of neural networks these four will comes under the supervised neural networks only but which one you people need to choose whether you people will choose feed forward neural networks or radial basis networks or dynamic networks that is depending upon our requirement it will depend upon the our continually to adjust itself by adding the new inputs to the new inputs so these unsupervised neural which are not giving the exact result. so the minute to minute it will change so then uh, according to it will uh, uh, 
so the output the desired output you will change continuously means then again we people need to add multi inputs we need to it so they find the relationship within the data and can automatically define the classifications themselves so these neural network toolbox supports two type of uh, self organizing and unsupervised the network cells so these are in the unsupervised networks again we have two types competitive layers and the self organizing maps also so if you are observing the self organ uh, these self organizing uh, and competitive layers these competitive layers recognize and go in a group a similar input ve uh, vectors enabling them to automatically to sort out the input into the number of categories also so these competitive layers commonly refer classification data classification pattern recognizer so when we are working on the data classification type of projects at that time you can choose competitive layers neural network if you are working on the pattern recognition certain you have some data so you need to analyze a particular pattern so at that point you can go with the competitive uh, layers only and the self organizing maps here another one self organizing map type of neural networks so, so these are classify vectors according to the similarity like the competitive layers these are used for the classification and pattern recognition techniques and these uh, uh, self organizing maps they are differ from the competitive layers and because uh, why these are different I mean they have the ability to preserve the topology of the input vectors assigning nearby inputs and nearby the categories also these compared to the competitive layers these self organizing maps they have the ability uh, to preserve the new topology or new input vectors and assigning as per the requirement it will assign the nearby inputs and the nearby categories also two type of categories are there. and here what is the problem suppose when we are facing some problem so we have problem uh, that means it is a uh, as per requirement a requirement which you people are working so this is problem we have one specific problem we have so in that problem what you people need to do we need to find the variables modularization into the sub problems and we need to find out what is the theme or main object of the problem and after solving after find out the main objective of that problem then you need to go with the data collection then immediately you people need to collect the data so then you can go right, uh, directly go to a neural network then you can implement these things so that means when you have collected so when first you are identifying the problem when you are identifying the problem so then you need to modularize this into the sub problem so how to classify and what are the variables you people need so then you are identifying the main theme of the uh, problem then you are collecting the data so after collecting the data collection you need to three steps you need to do one is training validation and testing data sets so you need to test the data set so in this neural network solution so to get the solution for your required problem you need to train the data so you collect the data right collection of data so you need to training set that means 75% of the data you need to train so then you need to go with the 10% of the data you need to validation set so then you can go to further steps testing set so then you people will achieve and the exact solution here and here the neural network applications where we are implementing pattern recognition these neural network uh, sir will help you uh, the neural networks are very helpful so if you are observing the advantages of a neural network in a neural network can perform the task uh, that a linear program cannot uh, when when an element of the neural network so it will fails and it continue without any problem by the parallel nature suppose when you are giving the some data to a input data you people are giving so when you are giving the input data how you are get from the x1 x2 x3 xn up to xn you are going. if any data will be failed that means any neural network will fails then the problem it will not stop again it will continue they have the without any problem because they are connected with the parallel nature parallel nature also. so a neural networks it learns and does not need to be reprogrammed 
once you people are giving the program once you people are giving the collection of the data so you need no need to check again and again and it will uh, it will have the ability to reprogram and it any problem will occur also it will solve automatically so it can be implemented in any application it can be implemented in without any problem also we can implement this neural network so if you are observing matlab simulink model so just uh, not only so biological systems monitoring system automotive industry ship propulsion system aircraft spacecraft and dynamic systems communication and satellite system so we can utilize this matlab in all these industrial application in all these industrial applications we can utilize these things so we can utilize these artificial neural network here suppose here we will see a basic example so which is so if you are observing here this is a matlab so this is a matlab right if you are observing this one so if you are observing here so this is a matlab so here i will show you a simple model pattern recognition or character recognition problem so here what we are doing initially so we are collecting the data character recognition this example illustrate how to train a neural network to perform the simple character organization so first what we need to so this uh, green color one uh, this is the uh, data we can specify the data which data we are giving we can so so this is the script file in the matlab domain we have two type of files are there one is script another one is simulink two type of uh, models are in the script file if you are uh, write whatever the data it will be saved in the dot m file if you are uh, writing if you are designing the models in the simulink toolbox in the simulink toolbox separately we have neural network toolbox we have so in that neural network toolbox if you are uh, writing all the data means then uh, we can save the file means we can save in two ways one is dot md file mdl file and another one is slx file format also so here this is the data so here the script to which we are giving 26 columns that matrix with the 26 columns one for each letter of the alphabet so each column has 35 values which can either be 1 or 0 so here we are giving the x comma t two input uh, variable name this is the variable name and here we are giving 26 by 26 identity matrix we are giving as a input here so pr pre this is one inbuilt command here we are giving and here a is the first letter is plotted as a bitmap it will be plotted as a, a bitmap so here by giving this one here in this 20 uh, 20 uh, plot character 6 x comma uh, colon comma 1 we are giving so then first we need to create the first neural network to solve our problem so here we are taking the feed forward neural network to set up for pattern recognition with the 25 hidden neurons 25 hidden neuron layers only so for that so that neural network we need to give the data right so randomly we are taking some initial weights so they will give once we are trained the system it will give the data here so here you can see here set demo for random stream pi we are giving and the net one we are giving feed forward net feed forward neural network 25 neurons we people are these 25 neurons are uh, hidden layers uh, hidden layer so then we can view the net so then after training the first neural network uh, after training the first neural network it will divides the data into training validation and test sets so once we people are trained the data means it will be classified so and the trained the second neural network trained the second neural networks so num noise here we are giving 30 and xn and tn we are giving so this is the uh, collection data which we people are giving after this testing both neural networks so, so once we people are trained the data then we need to test the data so after testing the data we can display that one in a uh, picturization picturization we can easily analyze all the data so this is a character recognition of a uh, neural network so how to train this one we will see here so here we are giving a running option we will see here 
So by giving this uh, data, this is a script file which we are giving here. Just a minute. If you give the command here CLC, it will be clear everything. Suppose if you are giving the command here clear, it will clear the workspace. So, so this is the current directory path. Uh, this is the current directory path. And this is the current folder. And this one is the uh, workspace here. Whatever the variables if you are typing here, it will appear in the workspace also. So here we will see the char uh, character recognition model. So then we will train the data set. So here it is saved in the .m file, right? So here I am running this model. We will see here how to train the data also it will appear here. Yep, okay. You can see here. Uh, not this figure. So this is the figure, right? So here, once you people are running the data, so then you can observe here, this here, this is the input. How much input we people are giving? How much uh, we people are giving here? This is the input, 35 we are giving, right? So then the hidden layers, how many? How many hidden layers? How many hidden layers? You can see here the how to train the neural network so we are training the neural network so you can see here these are the 25 hidden layers and the outputs are 26 right so here to stop the training so it is training right it is training once it is fixed the performance and training state it will be completed means then we people get so you can see here this is the input zero hidden layer Having some inbuilt commands here, we are you can see here this is the uh, training system and this is the pattern recognition. You can see here this is the graph which we are getting pattern recognition this is a neural network training and it's completed so plot the it is completed right so here after this one so if you are observing this matlab once if you are finished so the same thing so here it is showing some bit. You can see here it is showing some busy. So here the same the characterization we will create one toolbox here. The characterization if to fit the data. We can see here. So you can see here the percentage of the recognition in the errors. The targets here. The network one and a network two percent. So here I will show the simulink uh, how we are getting. This is a feed forward neural network. This is the training data. A validation it is stopped, right? So we are training the this is the input data which we are giving. Then here hidden layers and the output layers. Here output we are getting, right? So the same thing here. If you are observing the simulink here, here I will show the simulink. If you are typing here simulink from the library.
if you are typing here similar You can see here, this is a new model. Right. The embedded system toolbox. So once you people are, you are taking the blank model, in that blank model, if you are go to the library browser, we have different type of uh, toolboxes are there. Different type of toolboxes are there. So in this toolbox. Embedded coder, embedded coder to the neural network toolbox. So whatever the data we are training. So this data here, whatever the data. browser so in that library browser we have different type of toolboxes from there we can uh, get the this simulink so we can work on with the simulink and the simscape also simscape but the data sheet whatever the data sheet you have you need to train that data like this you need to train the data sheet like this one So each and everyone oh, for participating in this session. So to, to the coordinators, uh, especially Gandhi Institute of uh, Technology from Odisha, to all the coordinators for mechanical department and the management also for giving this opportunity in this situation. So thank you all for participating in this session. I hope oh, you people are getting something. I give your valuable feedback. So here, if you are go to the library browser, we have the data. So if you are seeing here, you can see here, we have different type of toolboxes are there. Toolboxes are there. From here, You can see here we have neural network toolbox was also here this fuzzy logic toolbox also it will comes under the fuzzy logic artificial intelligence only and the neural network toolbox we have differently so from this the transfer functions input net functions and the weight functions we can design from here also we can design from here also so thank you all uh, so thanks to the coordinators over to the management once again i hope you like this session you can follow for the artificial intelligence neural networks uh,
so these are the references you can go to here so neural network fuzzy logic and genetic algorithm synthesis and applications s rajashekaran and ga vijay lakshmi pai and neuro fuzzy and soft computing you can go through this uh, jsr jang ct sun e mitsoni phi a neural network a neural network and a tutorial on neural networks also and strategic decision making with neural networks and influence maps ai gaming program wisdom 2 section 7.7 so russell stewart and norwig peter artificial intelligence and a modern approach section 20.5 so you can go through these references so participating all of you so thank you all have a nice day stay home stay safe